Back at the dam now, let's see how many miles that was we thing of ours now. But we'll get a total of if I wanted to hear it. This is the only windy bit of the whole lot. I wonder if that dam is responsible for some of this one. It could be, you know. All the trees are down too, like. Five to five now. What's that saying there now? Why is that gone to 13? Where's my, my walk's gone now, like? See, trying to do things with one hand and all, like. What's it? Uh, so two miles. One mile, 55. It's two miles from the dam, you could say. For the moment, that because I didn't put that on the very, very, very. I put it on once we reached the main lane. We were actually on down there, we but down to the side. So it's five mile up and five mile down. It's ten mile we've gone. Poor wee man. So three miles from here now. I'll take a few photographs now and put on a Google review. This is as far as people, people come and walk in, this is it. It's not even a wee bench for them to sit on, is it? That's why, how, and people put reviews on. If you're not interested in dams, is it worth the walk? I don't think so. One of the walks you can do. I'll take some photographs on the camera. How do I put them on the lead one away down here? Look at sheep in front. Seen the sheep in front. These two haven't seen them yet. That's where the sheep poo is coming from. So these farmers are supposed to have a fence done. The sheep's getting out. Well, why are sheep's out there? No, but the farmers can shoot your dogs if they go for sheep. Surely if their sheep get out. And they have cattle goods here. So they know the sheep's getting out. That's why the cattle goods here. There's no sign here saying don't walk your dog here. There's no sign saying dogs and leads. There's no sign saying sheep could be walking here. Apart from the cattle goods. There's nothing to say sheep's walking here. Look around you. It doesn't look like the sheep's grazing the place. So I took it to escape these. There's two of them now, look. The cattle grows down here, that's why they can't go no further. This is the first time now we have diesel near sheep. There's three of them here. And Luna, Luna has seen sheep but never been the same side of them. And if they go, they make a tent for them. If they make a tent for these sheep, I'm going to reward them. Oh, the girls, the cattle girls on down. So like, there's a place there for the farmer to, to move a sheep. So you imagine the cattle girls there kiss the emergency. I shouldn't be there as uh, you know moving the sheep from one side to the other. The other one might escape here and there. That takes some measure now, doesn't it, to get them oh, that be one. Now don't you be going for sheep boys and girls? Ah, you're very good. You're very good now. But if a sheep was to panic and run, that's you need to watch dinner, because she'd run. They've already walked, um, uh, three, five, six, they've already walked seven miles in here. So this is what they like when they've seven miles done. Plus they walk, uh, must be one or two miles in, um, every wood. I'll just keep them on, we pass the next cattle grid. It's not too far away, they're not pulling, they're not pulling very hard now, like. What's that? Huh? Let's see. Memory car space is going right. Uh, what have we got? Hold on, let's check the memory here. 13 minutes of excitement left and there's no memory left. Turn this you off, know I can walk cattle grid. And that's how they stir it. So walk the other one, and that's not an easy cattle grid to do. The big round bars. The first time she went across the other one, she, she did the first time, no problem. Second time, the wee back leg slipped once. But she didn't fall through, just slipped off a wee bit. 
no problem with the rectangle, kept it good. That's the round bar. The rectangle man just walks good across that. Come on, little square bar. I think it's a bit hard guiding the four paws. We're back down now to where this lock gate is. Uh, when we came here to start, we didn't follow the road, we followed the wee path going up through the trees up there. And it brought us up along the trees and then back down to where the sign saying private lane. I'm just thinking there might be a private lane there because whoever has access up to that private lane, that's to make sure they don't go on up there. So 1.2 miles to down from here, I've noticed that. Ah, uh, so three miles up, but I reckon it's shorter going back this way. That's only a walk up there, you can't drive. So this should be shorter. So I'm probably knocking off a half a mile. 1.2, wonder what. See what the, this app says now. Where about is this? Try to work a four and do you think the one goats? Uh what's that 29? Ugh, something gone wrong there. I want to know what the mouse is. Ah it's all right later. Uh, got the wrong displays up for some reason. But I reckon this is cut off a half a mile anyway. Because it's up here backtracking. You're going away down to come back. So if you're bowling a dam, you're not going to make a snake with you? So this will take us back down now. Now walking up tarmac road is boring. But when you're, when you're getting hungry and you want back to the car, going down tarmac road is not so bad. And I don't always like walking the same route. So this is a different route now. We haven't seen this bit of route. Can't tape it on really because uh, so I said it's probably a mile here anyway. I'm mission back of the car maybe. But if, it, if it was a mile, it's knocked off. Three thousand of a mile. So we'll see how it goes. That's unbelievable. The iron gate is just round that corner, the metal gate. There's the wee pinnacle where we start to walk off. That must have had about a mile on there. Yeah, 1.2 miles off the dam from around that corner. But when we start off, we come up as we grab a path way up the hole. And then you come back down the lane and do an S ship. But why would they want to add an extra on? And the funny thing is, that wee gap over there didn't bother taping it. But there's a display board telling you about the mature trees. So this was the road you would have walked. So the last time I was here, you walked up here. It's got the signage, and then somewhere along the line, somebody's added this wee path on. But they're making it out as though that's the way you must go if you're going to the dam and it's not. It's a lot shorter just going to the tarmac. I can't believe how much longer that but there was. So that's, that's added a mile on. That is added a mile onto the walk. Now brilliant if you're going for a walk. If you're parking in your car and you want to go for a walk, that's good. If you're going to look at a, at a dam, it might be three miles. Now, I'll see how far it is down to the car, but there's a car park. Is that a car park there? I think it is. If that's a car park, 1.2 mile. What's this 3 mile up the dam we've got to do? We suffered unnecessarily got up there. An extra mile more than needed, needed to be. And meanwhile, we're missing out on this wee bridge over here. And only for the border of walking tarmac, I was glad to see that wee path up the hill. Check this out now, we'll see if the mile coming down at least. I have definitely saved the mile. So we'll check out this wee bridge down right here and see if there's any safe path from up the other side. Ah, there was a path up the other side now, it's going to annoy me. We think we could have done a loop, maybe saved a bit of time. Oh, you know what? Is it going down anyway? You see, if I should have checked out the beginning, the path goes down the way. I presume the path will go up the way. You do a loop, that doesn't. I should have checked this out at the start. So you learn these things. Look at this nice here, look. Another wee bridge. No good for the stable, like. Eh? 
you miss this wee walk with that tarmac road over there. I'm going to bring the car up there now, that wee car park there. And I'm going to make the chips there. This is probably the nicest bit of it. No signpost to tell you about it. I should have took a wee photograph of it. There's a wee walk up there, look. See, there could be locals there, there could be all sorts of nice wee walks over this side here. I do you know what? Is this coming to a dead end now? How do we get back over to the car? Oh no, it's over here. Over here, Luna. There's a whole lot of wee paths around here. It's a wee warren. So, if you come here with Wayans, that's a place to come here. There, stay. You can really hide up in here at 10. But uh, you won't be, you can't come on a car. No, oh, it's pretty deep up here, boys and girls, I'll tell you. Let's see if this wee car park's open here now. This wee car park's open, we'll drive up to here. Get our chips on and have a wee sniff around them trees there. This sign down here says three miles. I don't think this car park was a mile from where we parked the car. We'll see now. I don't think it was a mile. says to them people when I arrived here. Three miles to them, he says I. He didn't tell me it was a shortcut. He says for that road up there, I was under two miles. Luna! Don't just leave up there. First civilization, that's wrong, we just we haven't seen anything in it. Just... Of course he's like, yeah, I'll say it's nice terrifying. Weed brown's always nice colour for a pop on that. It's funny how I think life is up here, isn't it? Yeah. Not for life. Hey Dan. Okay. I went up the dam there, it says three mile. And I followed the wee gravel path. No, you went the wrong one. The tarmac road's a lot shorter. Mm -hmm. Hi. Can't Hi. believe how short it was coming back. It must have knocked a mile off it like. <laughs> oh, easy. And I, I walked another two mile past the dam. Uh -huh. I was hoping I could go around the lake. Oh, oh it yeah, takes man. you along. It's like nearly well, 10 kilometre. Ah, because I got as far as the wee bridge crosses. Uh -huh. And I looked Google Maps and the lane that I was on seemed to be coming to a dead end. And then when you go up, you had to turn off the left. It looked like then it was heading towards a B road like. Mm. Actually, no point taking the chance there like. Aye, there's like a. Th we've we done it once. Yeah. It takes you on to like the Monanina line, like the Monanina road. Right. Are you actually on the road itself, are you? Uh, you can't Aye, but you, then you have to come back on yourself. Aye, see, I wouldn't mind walking on the road like that. No, you, no, there you have that. to come back on yourself and then go up a big steep hill. Aye. And then that takes you right around the lake and takes you down then. So but you see, when I was at the edge of that lake crossing the stream, was I halfway? Mm, about that, probably. Aye. Aye. Oh. Yeah. What way did you go? Did you go up the hill or did you go where the number plate sign was? 1.2 mile? No, I went up the hill to begin with. But see, once I passed the dam itself. Ah, oh, you can go on around. I went on, on past mm -hmm. the dam and I, I took the first lane on the left was a wee slip road, took you down to the water. The second lane, or the right of me. The second lane on the right then, it followed the lake going round. Oh, mm -hmm. I know where you're at now. And then when I got to the end of the lake, you go down to the right again and the wee small bridge goes over the wee stream. Mm -hmm. So that's as far as I could go in the lake. Mm -hmm. But saying I look Google Maps, if it wants to go on around, that lane seems to disappear like. No, you, you can definitely, oh, you can definitely go on around and yeah. it takes you, it takes you down the other, no the way ah. if you go this way or that way. And even when I was locking up, I couldn't see no lane on the far side like, and then it goes through the trees. Probably does go through the trees, I. See whenever you go over past the dam, 
and then you're going straight, there's a way straight or you can go down right. Aye, I went down the right. Go down right, aye, and then it follow you up and it takes you, you come out on the left, just you keep following that around. Aye. And then I think it's, it splits off, you can go straight or you can go right, you keep going right. It takes you up a hill and then go right again, and it takes you past like a water, what do you call it, like a pumping station. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it takes you the whole way back and there's a big stone bridge and all. Right. It's good work. It's about 12 you say, kilometers. Uh, it's about 12, 13 kilometers. I would have done 10 miles or the 9 miles. I have saved that mile coming back the shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> but I would have done 10 miles. Right. Right. So we could have went right around the lake. I was going to come back and do it. So I was going to have to come back and do it. Yeah. So that sign over there says uh, 3 miles a dam. Ain't no 3 miles. Stick on the road, it's less than 2 miles. There's no signs in this place, unless signs there is, it's not leading. I'll tell you, unbelievable. You can drive your car up to that car park, you're one and a half mile at the dam. I'd have one and a half mile more. It wasn't necessary. What, that, every nine you were there, and that wee cub there, was dragged one and a half miles more than necessary. I don't know. There's something in there. It's all fenced off. So. But you can't go right round, we're halfway round like, but you don't know. So, I'll come back again the next time, I'm going to do it from the other side. The thing is now, where do you come out from the other side? I thought you came out in that car park, but you don't. So, uh, it has to be around the very bottom, I think there's a bit of a lane down here in the bottom. So, we'll do it the other way around next time. Less chance of getting lost, because I know what's on the side this time. Well, the next time, oh, you don't want to come for a couple of weeks, anyway. We'll leave it a month, boy, boys and girls, leave it a month. I had a memories. Come next time, the nightmares were flooding back. Tell you what, with these bridges, there's three of these bridges here. And you know what's unusual about them? They actually look quite nice on the outside and boring as a thing on the inside. The bit that people see is boring. The bridge has been designed to be looked at. Now, it's a concrete bridge, there's no architectural features like, but they didn't have to put that cap on the top. There's some things they didn't have to do. What do you see, look? Oh, that one there's plainer. That's, that's a bit of a nice concrete, that's different from the other ones. But even still, it's all, any detail there is, is on the outside. Inside, they won't, because they're narrow, they want to leave them as wide as possible. Maybe uh, originally they had them sticking out at the top, and boys are clapping them, they came along with a saw and cut them. But the other two further up, they actually look okay in a photograph. You can take a photograph off them from down the water, but you can't get down to get a photograph. You see why they don't stick out, stick out here like. That's pretty plain that one, but that's a bigger arch than the other two. It's a longer bridge than the other two. Where did Luna go? Ah! There's not many passing places here, is there? But if, if we're going to walk right round the lake, it doesn't matter where you park because you're going to walk right round anyway. But I just want a pair of chips now. I'm up there as nicer than down than we are. I'm going to cook the chips up there. Here we are back at the car now in the lower car park. 3.82 mile back. We were 2 mile past the dam. So if you go straight up that road and don't go off it, you're... um. 1.8 mile off the dam, just under 2 miles. If you follow the sign that they tell you to follow, 3 mile, 3 mile, 